Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Surplus Nut, just um, bringing you the other video on my High Point uh, 45 ACP that I just finished installing all the accessories and all the little things I purchased for it. And I want to show you guys the, uh, the outcome of the weapon. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove the magazine, which I do have it. Uh, loaded with 45 ACP uh, critical defense from Hornady so we'll go ahead and get the magazine and pull it aside and put nothing on it weapon it's clear so we'll go ahead and um, check it out I went and um, I got check out the other videos on this uh, uh, high point because um, I show all the different stuff that I bought for it. Obviously, the sling is something that it came with. It came with a gun, but from high point, I order the uh, magazine holder that holds uh, a mag on each side. Uh, that was from high point. I also order the uh, little f uh, fold foldable little handle. But um, I took it off and I went ahead and installed this one. And then I went, um, those are the items that I ordered from High Point. The magazine holder, the two mags, and the foldable uh, handle. I went ahead and installed this one. And then I went from um, uh, downrange products. I ordered the uh, charging handle, okay, which is really nice. And I also ordered the uh, the sleeve for the barrel with the muscle break. Let me show you, let me show you guys so you guys can see it how it came out. Really nice. Now this is just a, a sleeve. It gives it a look of a bull barrel, but it's just a sleeve. Um, it's just a sleeve and the muscle brake. So those are the things that I ordered from Downrange products. The charging handle and the sleeve and the muscle brake. Now what I did, remember this goes over the stock barrel. So um, I modified the top handguard that you slide out every time you're gonna clean it or disassemble the rifle. And if you don't do this modification that I did, and you have this um, barrel sleeve and muscle brake, you will have to loosen the screws from the bottom and take the sleeve out and the muscle brake every time you're gonna slide this um, uh, handguard because if you see it, if you see it right there, okay, um, obviously the, the, the sleeve is way thicker then the space that you have in front of this top handguard and to slide it out it will hit this the sleeve the barrel sleeve so what i did was i got my dremel tool i marked it outside and uh, i got my dremel tool and i actually grinded it where now i can slide the top handguard and it completely comes out over the sleeve the barrel sleeve and the muscle break and i don't have to take this off so this will be like a permanent thing. And then I ate up everything inside in the beginning of the top handguard. So it'll just slide really good over the, the sleeve. So you just gotta take your time, do it careful so you don't you know, uh, open more space than what you need. And that's it. So this is the, the carbine on this side. That's how it look. I'll, I'll get the camera now and I'll show you guys a uh, a, a close uh, closer uh, uh, shot of it. But anyways, um, let me just go ahead and grab it now. This is it right here. This is the uh, the sling that comes with it. You get this here. It's got the spring. Uh, butt pad so right now I got a um, little bit of ammo 45 ACP the critical defense um, 
I went ahead and opted for getting the black one. And um, a very nice gun. They got a lifetime warranty. Um, they Supposedly they shoot and they have no failure to feed, to eject everybody that's been uh, using them. They've had good luck with them. So there we go. I went ahead and I got a, uh, a, a U, uh, UTG uh, Bug Buster uh, 3x9x32, by by tremendous scope, uh, really clear glass. Um, this thing focuses down, or the parallax, you can adjust it down to uh, three yards, and you're looking at three, four feet in front of you, super, super clear. So it's a scope um that it's meant meant also for uh cqb close quarter battle again you you set this down to three power set it at uh, three yards and th four feet five feet ahead of you it's super clear and then you can crank it all the way up to uh nine power and it's uh extremely clear so that's what i got on it a uh, utg uh, scope it's got the illuminated reticle in green and red and then um, you know it's I'm super excited with it I can't go to take can't wait to take go and take it uh, shooting um, take move the sling out of the way here I put this lower um, grip here and then again look how nice the uh, the barrel sleeve with the muscle brake from downrange products it makes it look like a uh, it's got that it came from factory with a uh, bull barrel now I just finished ordering uh, the uh, metal Picatinny true Picatinny rail that comes all the way to the front here and you can buy a uh, they sell the rail with a little adapter that has these little lines that go up. It looks really awesome. And it's a uh, Adonis um, true Picatinny uh, aircraft aluminum rail because these, they come from high point with the Weaver, Weaver style spacing. So a lot of times guys have a problem installing, uh, you know, any accessories or anything on it. So just be aware of that. The uh, rails on this one it's got the spacing for weaver uh for whatever reason this one i had this on my ar and i just swapped it over to this I'll, i i ended up putting the folding handle on my ar and i'll probably just go back and forth um you know w with it um i want to really try to get this thing nice and custom so that's it i modify the uh the top handguard um, when these things are new, it's really hard to take apart. Like I already took out the pins here. I took it apart just to try to put the sleeve, the barrel sleeve, and it's a bear to get this top handguard. It's really under pressure. So what I did was on the four little teeth that it has and on the plastic rail where it runs, I put some lithium grease and that has helped a lot. I mean, it's still tight, but I'm able to get it on kind of like with one hand. And I guess as I take it on and off, on and off, it might, you know, the plastic might wear a little bit where it's not, it'll just be a perfect fit. I think they do it just because of that. So, yeah, guys, this is the uh, High Point um, 9545TS. I think TS stands for Tactical Series or Tactical Stock. The first uh, High Point that they did, Carbine, supposedly, and I've seen it, it was or or it is i wouldn't buy it it's extremely ugly now they kind of like did all this thing on top here um you know they gave it more of a ar kind of like tactical look some people hate it some people like it um to me i think it's it's awesome you know it's my first carbine that i'll be able to have uh especially 45 you know i don't have no rifle that shoots a pistol cartridge so it's got the 45 ACP. It's my first one. And let me tell you, it will probably be my last because every review that I looked or video on this, it'll feed any type of ammunition, ball, ammo, hollow points. Even though I went ahead and got the critical defense that you have that type of tip that acts 
like uh, kind of like a uh, like ball ammunition, and it's these tend to feed better, and they are hollow point. They they expand, they open up uh, once they enter body mass. Um, it, the magazine, uh, the gun came with one mag, uh, a nine round magazine. Uh, I believe uh, Pro Mag makes a, a, a you know a 15 rounder or a 10 or something like that. But I hear a lot that they jam or they don't feed right. So just st stick with these. It has to do something with a follower, I think. But anyways, this one came with a nine uh, round uh, mag. It only comes with one mag. And then I went ahead and um, I purchased a holder with the two magazines which they sell it as a kit on the uh, high point website and i believe it's like about 45 dollars or something like that for the holder that you clamp it on the stock uh, yeah the uh the stock here at the end and um and you can um clamp a magazine on each side this is one side i'm going to show you guys the other i believe brass brass stock stacker they have like a little cheek pad that I'm gonna buy for this. Uh, first, I'm ordering that rail, which is really important for me because I wanna put this um, scope on a, pl on a sturdy platform. So I'm waiting for this rail. I should be getting it next week. I'll show it to you guys how it looks. Uh, but um, yeah, brass um, stacker have a little uh, neuropene, really nice. It's like three inches, uh, three eighths of an inch high. If it serves as a cheek rest and gives the gun the stock a nicer look and then also I believe they have a um, they have a uh, steel uh, trigger I really like the look of this um, uh, plastic trigger people complain about the smudginess the, the play or the slack or the travel whatever you want to call it to me it's not uh, this gun is empty by the way it's not much and actually this one is super light i don't know if this is one of their latest one or i just purchased this thing on friday uh today is uh saturday last night got this last night so but anyways i've cocked it and i've uh dry fired it and the trigger is super super light on this one i mean i'm telling you it's not like what i've seen on on the on the on youtube People complain that the trigger's hard or it could be, you know, five, seven pounds. I don't know. This one seems super, super light. I haven't tested it with a trigger gauge, but it seems that way. So that's it, you know. I mean, the uh, high point, 95, uh, 45, um, 95 with a few mods. And it's got the, uh, the uh, UTG bug buster scope three by nine by 32 and um yep that's it right there so let me show it to you guys how it looks from the other side give me one second this thing looks outrageous i'm super super excited let me just show you guys the uh the break super nice from downrange products the guy mills everything on a lathe and he does everything that's the barrel sleeve and remember the modification let me see my my thing there you go you i i grind down the inside of the top of the rail so when i take this rail off um it completely uh goes over the the barrel sleeve I don't have to take the barrel sleeve out. I just take out the top rail and that's it. Super excited with it, man. They got lifetime warranty on them, so I can't wait to go. Now when I get the top uh, rail, see if I, uh, I'm gonna even start reloading for this. I already have the dies. I got the dies from Lee for 45 ACP and I and I got the uh I bought a thousand uh primers so I just gotta give me the case the cases and the bullets because I have the, the and the powder I got the I got the primer and uh, the primers and the dies so I'll be set and that's it right there man hope you guys like it
this thing is really awesome the um, the charging handle now one thing I noticed on these because um, normally the stock one is uh, kind of like a not an ugly bolt but it's not as nice as the uh, uh, hex uh, Allen key and then their neural uh, knob here where you hold it to charge it but one thing I noticed see, see how it's got this play a lot of them are like that and this guys this right here what that you hear it's writing right on the top of the opening of the receiver so with time uh, I'm assuming that by pulling it a lot I mean it's gonna probably might wear a little bit right where it makes contact so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy uh, either one or two I'm gonna go to Home Depot and purchase like those little rubber rings they're like yeah, I guess you can call them old rings and find the right size for the little bolt that goes on here let me see if you guys can see in there see the play there's a little the, the width of the bolt I can probably get it and get one of those little black o-rings sometimes they sell a kit on the plastic box with different sizes people use them for again for o-rings or gaskets or whatever depending the application so I'm gonna get a size that will snug over this bolt and and get it close to the knob so it'll just to stay there you see how it looks there it'll just stay there it won't have this play because I don't want the receiver to start mark or you know getting a wear mark around here whether it does it or not I think it'll be more this is something this guy from down range um, down range product should have thought because anyways if you were to put that ring on it and keep it here um, you can still put the Allen key wrench unscrew this and the whole thing comes up and it comes with it and actually this keeps it you know nice and snuggy there it won't have that play not even on the even if you unscrew the bolt but that's something that I'm gonna do extra I'm gonna go to Home Depot I gotta return some paint anyways I bought the um, um, I bought the uh, what do you call this freaking thing man the Rostolium Rostolium uh, camouflage the khaki one I was even thinking of doing a camo job on the stock but I decided to leave it like the hated black rifle that it is by the liberals and the anti-gun community. But um, yeah, I decided to leave it like that. I was going to do a camo job. Then I decided to just go with a khaki or a tan uh, color because that will probably break it down really nice with, you know, the black. Um, you know, everything here that you see plastic, I would've, it would have been like khaki. Um, or maybe even a green and then have the, the breakup of the black or the bluing of the receiver, the barrel, you know, all the black parts, the nice, uh, it, it, you know, I've seen people do it on YouTube. They leave like the screw heads in black and it gives it a nice touch. But, you know, I figure, you know, even though I bought the a can of spray, I bought the matte clear to put a lot of coats. So when, you know, wear and, and tear, it'll start wearing on the clear before it hits the paint. Because I hate to start seeing rubs on the paint jobs on a rifle or stock. And you got to retouch it and it just doesn't look the same. doesn't look like when you first did it. So instead of avoiding all that stuff, you know, going through through all that, I decided just to leave it, um, you know, black the way it is. And again, man, all this thing needs is that rail that comes up to the front. And they have a little piece here that makes this look square and then it's high and this thing runs all the way to the front so i'm gonna get that and um what else so i'm probably gonna get like a front backup sight just in case because since i have the scope all the way to the back to get the proper eye relief uh it's not like i can move, unless i had a red dot or something i can move the scope to the middle and put a front backup sight up here when i get the rail and then other backup site here but since i got the scope there for the proper eye relief um this has the quick release rings so in case you know i have any issue with the scope i can just dump it and at least since this doesn't have a front sight because you know the setup that it has at least having a pop-up front sight here i have a little post that i can in an emergency i can do something with it and it might make it look really nice so you know with the rail all the way to the front and then just the front side um you can get um from you know anywhere 
uh, either the pair and just just keep the the rear one for something else or whatever um, but yeah that's it guys check out the other videos I, I got a, a three or four videos on this um, on the other uh, first one was the unboxing and then all the parts that I purchased for this and I explain and tell you uh, who I got them from and all that and then when I did those videos I promised that I will show the uh, outcome of the um, of the carbine itself and that's what I'm doing right now I mean it looks incredible I'm super super happy with it I mean I, I purchased this one to have it around the house as a self-defense um, weapon even though I got my Glocks and stuff but it's good to have something like this nearby you know instead of an AK-47 or an AR-15 something that is really powerful and can go through the wall uh, this at least 45 it's you know could do that too but I mean it'll have you have the potential of the bullet uh, expanding and not creating uh, chaos so yeah that's it the high point 4595 TS and guys I hope you enjoy the video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and subscribe and I will try I will try to bring um, more videos um, to the gun community and again um, one more thing I will bring another video about this gun at the range I'll bring some range footage so this is mr. surplus nut I'll catch you guys later